So hello everybody, how are you today? It is Wednesday, so it's time for another Power BI video. This time we're going to do Power BI and Excel combined. How about that? Okay, so I'm going to show you how to gain insights with the click of a button, both in Excel and in Power BI. I think the implementation in Excel is better, and I'll explain why, but oh my god, in a few years I'll have to look for another job. Maybe I will be another type of YouTuber. Anyhow, let me show you this. I'm in Excel. You need to have Excel, uh, you know, Office 365. So Excel from Office 365. And you need to have it in the language English, French, Spanish, German, simplified Chinese and Japanese. I'm going to put the link down below to where I'm reading it from. And uh, this is being rolled out as we speak. So they launched it in August. So if you open, if you have this Office 365 and this language and still you don't see it, it's because it hasn't been rolled out to you, but very, very soon. So if you have that, just grab the table with some data. I have here date views and subscribers from my YouTube channel. And I did some videos in the summer for how to create linear regression and see the correlation in Power BI. So I'm going to show you how to do that with a click of a button. Kind of, you need to do more if you're going to do some serious data analysis, but still, this is the beginning. Uh, this is how you do. Do you get the data? Do you see this ideas button? I think it's a pity that I didn't call it quick insights because I believe, I don't know, I believe it's the same service that is in Power BI is called quick insights, but they call it here ideas. I think Quick Insights is a better name. You click on it and it will pop up. With, um, I've already accepted some terms and conditions. So you will have to accept them. And then suddenly it gives you, it goes through the data and it has a few algorithms that it goes through and gives you the results. So we see here, view subscribers by date. So understand the state. It says, view show a repeating pattern check this out. It says views and subscribers appear to be highly correlated. Surprise, surprise. You can click here and insert the chart and you see it. I mean, this is it. So if you are trying to find which variables are correlated, click the button and let it go. And then you can do the actual, you know, analysis for real and see what is the R value and this R square value, blah, blah, blah. This will get you started faster. Oh my God, you see the regression line in there? Mm. Crazy, that's crazy. It will be fantastic. It will give you actually the regression line so you could just start, you know, predicting and mm, whatnot. But this is the start. Subscribers show a repeating pattern. I mean, this is wonderful. You just have to give it a go and let me know how it goes. And now you think, okay, do we have this in Power BI? Yes, yes, yes. We have had it for quite a while, to be honest, but they implemented it in a place that nobody used it. I, I use it and I tell my customers to use it, but I don't know if they do. So let me show you. I have here the exact same data set. When you click publish and you publish it up to the service. Come on, baby. I would say, yeah, okay, fine. And go to my workspace. You have to publish it to the service to be able to access these. So do you see here, get quick insights? This is, I think, the same as ideas in Excel. I'm going to show you. So it's going to go through the data and it's going to do exactly the same thing as Excel, but oh my Lord, you saw Excel, it was like, this takes forever. Come on, baby. So let's see what type of insights we get. I expect to get similar to what was in Excel if the service is the same. Um, wow, you see the difference? That's amazing. Okay, now we're getting something. So we have here, this is the exact same chart that we got in Excel. 
obviously it's the same data, but you know, it is the same chart. Uh, and it says view is trending upwards with seasonality. Subscribers show seasonality that we didn't it didn't describe it like that on ideas. And then we have here again the correlation and the regression line. So these are you know basically the same charts that we get. So I think it is the same service. Again, I'm not sure about some buts and ifs. If you're using this in Excel, here's what they say. They said you have to have structured data. And this is obviously for Excel people, you know, they need to know you have to clean your data. It has to be formatted as a table. When I tested, I didn't create a table out of it, but it recommends you to do it. So why not? So control T and then it will create a table. It says that make sure you have good names on the headers because this is what you will see here. And maybe it uses the words to try to find better relationships. I don't know. And then it says if you have nested data, you know, these Excel financial files that have 3000 headers and stuff, it might not work that well. This is what it says. So clean it with Power Query, they are saying. But let me show you what I get this for from. Um, so there, and then it says, don't you get, you don't get anything. So this is what might happen. The data set has to be, uh, can be over 16 meg, which is 250,000 cells. That's a lot, depending on the business, obviously. It says that date might not be recognized as date. Make sure you format as date. I didn't do that. You recognize it as date. Maybe it's just better since they release it. It says that if it is in compatibility mode, it won't work. And merge cells can be hard to understand. So clean your data, obviously. And this is the um, algorithms that they have. They will look for rank. So highlight um, items that are significant bigger or smaller. Trends, outliers, correlation. And then if there is one value that stands for most of the others. And this is basically when every time I've used quick insights, this is basically what I see, this type of uh, analysis. So I think they are the same. Now, here's the thing. I would love to have this in a button in Power BI Desktop. Why not? I, here, quick insight, ideas, call it whatever. I don't mind because it will help me to, to do this. I know that there is, you know, this plain increase, decrease, which is the naive feature too. But maybe if they have it like that, so we use Power BI service. But this will help analysts, you know, to 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 get some fast track on on the data. I, I think it would be fantastic. So hopefully soon it is there. I mean, if it's available in Excel, it should be available in Power BI too. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that they do. But uh, hey, guys, in the ten years, I think we need to start finding new jobs because a lot of the analysis part, I think the clean still would probably need a human interaction, but the analysis is getting better and better. Um, so get ready for that. Okay, I'm going to stop talking. And um, this is all for today. Let me know what you think, test it and show your comments below. And I'll see you again on Friday with another Tax Fridays. Until then, take care and bye-bye.